Um, the slope triangle is nice if the values are small and, and you're given a line, you can draw the triangle, figure out the slope. Uh, many times we're just given two points uh, at random and you have to find the slope. You've got to put them together um, in the equation or formula for slope. Uh, it's probably easier that way. Uh, it all depends on the problem, but it's always good to understand uh, both ways. Uh, where does the slope come from from a graphical standpoint? And then where does it come from from a um, uh, formulaic standpoint? Formula, using the formula. Uh, notice our slope value is positive. Uh, that should make sense. We said earlier this is a positively sloping line segment. So I just want to make sure that the uh, values kind of uh, gel for you uh, that way. Um, when we have uh, two points in space, uh, let's say we have this uh, value right here. We'll call this point, uh, point A. It's our x1, y1. And then we pick another point uh, right there. We'll call this point B. Uh, we'll, this is our x2, y2, x2, y2. And again, uh, notice the subscripts, the sub ones for this one, the sub twos, x2, y2 for this. Uh, in math, when we have subscripts, that means these are fixed points in space. They don't move like a variable would all over the place, even though the variable letters x and y are there. By attaching the subscript, that implies to our uh, math people that this, these two points are fixed in space. And there's our uh, line segment that connects A and B. It has slope to it. And from any two points on a line segment or line, we can build again the slope triangle that looks like this. Dottedly. And there's our uh, right angle. And we can calculate the side lengths of this right triangle. Well, this side length here is the difference between Y2 and Y1. So we're going to call it y2 minus y1. This horizontal uh, line segment or piece of this right triangle in my slope triangle is, well, the difference between the value at x2 and right here at x1. So I'm going to call it, I'm going to draw a little arrow there, it's smashed, x2 minus x1. And there we are. Um, then we said, well, the slope of any line segment or line is always uh, y's over x's. Rise over run. And if I were to put those together on this particular uh, diagram, uh, I would have, well, the rise portion of this is y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 over well, the x portion of this is x2 minus x1. And there it is in all its glory, uh, the slope uh, formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it comes from this picture here, uh, that you can have any two points in space. It doesn't matter where they are. I happen to draw them in the first quadrant just for the sake of uh, ease, but you can draw them anywhere. Uh, you have an x1, y1, you have an x2, y2. The distance of the vertical piece is always the difference of the y's y2 minus y1. The distance of the horizontal piece of the line is always the difference of the x's, x2 minus x1. And then uh, rise over run to build slope. And there you go. Um, I always memorize it that way so I don't have to, or I visualize it in my head that way um, in terms of uh, slope. Uh, and we go ahead and practice calculating slopes between any two points, setting it up using the formula. Um, if you happen to be given a, a graph of a line, so for example, uh, this happens a lot on uh, tests where they give us a line segment that looks like uh, something like this. They said, here's line L. And then they're going to ask you, well, calculate the slope of line L, all right? Um, so what I usually do is along line L, I find uh, two points. So here's a point, and here's a point. And you want to pick a point on line L that sits nicely on a whole number. Don't pick a point like here, that's not going to be very helpful because you can't tell what that value is. 
So clearly we can tell what this value is. It sits on a, uh, a nice integer value and we can build a slope triangle this way. And then from here I can calculate the slope of this line by looking. This is two units, this is three units. So therefore the slope is rise over run, two over three, the slope of the side is two thirds. Uh, in a similar fashion, uh, let me go ahead and draw another line here. Let's say we're given this picture here. And they're calling this line two. Uh, and they again ask us to find the slope of line two. Well, I'm going to pick two points nicely that sit upon the line. Uh, for example, here and here. I will draw my slope triangle that connects those two points nicely this way. Notice again, I can draw the slope triangle anywhere. I'm going to draw it this way. Uh, here's line two. This length is three. This length is two. Therefore, the slope at line two is again rise over run, three over two, and it is negative. It's negative because clearly this is a negatively sloping line. So that's how we use uh, visualizing the, the graph of a line to calculate its slope quickly. Uh, if I know two points on it, build a slope triangle, uh, find the values of the rise piece and the run piece come together as a fraction and then know that it is uh, indeed negative. Uh, so there we are with uh, slope quickly. Um, you can go ahead and practice some of those problems uh, in the assignment that attaches to this